Sungai Loborus Kami harapkan waspada Tingkatkan kewaspadaan Terima kasih atas informasi Yang kami himpun Yang kami update langsung Dari media center Mount Sinabung, Northern Sumatra, Indonesia Eruptions have continued since September 2013. Five villages have been deserted and over 30,000 people have been forced to evacuate. Eruptions continue even now. What is more, the rainy season has arrived, bringing the danger of mud and landslides. With all this happening, domestic and foreign community radio specialists have gathered at the Mount Sinabung Eruption Disaster Headquarters. <laughs> the Sinabung project has been set up to protect the villagers. A new initiative involving villagers and local administration authorities has been begun to protect the people. Community radio specialists arrive at Kuala Namu Airport in Medan, northern Sumatra, from Kobe and Yogyakarta. A three-hour drive by car to the highland town of Kaban Jaya in Karo Regency. The Sinabung Volcano Eruption Disaster Aid Headquarters is located here. To be prepared for continued eruptions, a 24-hour alert system has been set up by local administration officials and village volunteers. Sangat lebat di seputaran sini, seputaran sini hujan lebat sehingga membawa material yang iya. Today, heavy rain fell for about two hours, and because of that, there's been a mud flow of volcanic material. This is Junichi Hibino, director of FMYY in Nagata Ward, Kobe, which was set up after the 1995 Hanshin Awaji earthquake. He also supported the setting up of disaster radio stations after the East Japan earthquake and tsunami disaster. And this is Imam Prakoso, an Indonesian community radio support specialist. He was involved in the setting up of disaster radio stations in Aceh and Yogyakarta, and in creating an Asia-Pacific region community radio network. Every day, information on Mount Sinabung is collected at the headquarters by radio transceivers. However, the problem is that this information is not shared with evacuation shelters and small villages. Because information was not transmitted widely enough when the big eruption of February 2014 occurred, 16 victims, including high school students, lost their lives. To avoid damage and injury, obtaining information as quickly as possible is essential. However, there is no information infrastructure here like in Japan. With this, the Sinabung project was set up so that villagers could share information and an early warning system could be established. With this system, villagers with transceivers who monitored the volcano and rivers would pass on their information to all villagers by radio. Transistor radios were distributed to evacuation centers and villagers. Japan Platform supported the project financially. Not only money and materials are required, 
Human resources are also essential. Mr. Asarawono, from a network of about 800 community radio stations in Indonesia, acted as facilitator. Mr. Hendra, a radio engineer, and Ms. Duala, a member of a communication support NGO, also joined the project. It is important that it is not only the villagers who are involved in the construction of the early warning system, local administration authorities must also be involved. When a disaster occurs, it is the local authorities who hold most of the information. It is important that information collected by the villagers should also be shared and that all involved take on responsibility. One month has passed since the setting up of the disaster radio station in the farming village of Batu Karang, with a population of approximately 6,700 and about 7 kilometers south of the summit of Mount Sinabung. The radio signal is weak using this equipment, so the villagers living along the river can't hear broadcasts very well. Mr. Hibino and his colleagues set off to survey the areas with weak reception. Mr. Rowan, 30-year-old head of Batu Karang, the largest village in Karo Regency, he is doing his utmost to help the villagers live safely. This is the most likely place for mud and landslides to occur. It's a location that needs timely information. It is important equipment be set up as soon as possible. To strengthen the radio signal, equipment that will double the signal output is being installed and the antenna is being extended by 2.5 meters. The head of the village anxiously looks on at the work. While work is progressing at a fast pace, in the evening, a blackout occurs due to rain. Information that a landslide has occurred is received by a transceiver. Need to warn the villagers as quickly as possible. Seven PM. With great effort in recovery work, broadcasting resumes. Together with the project team, there are local volunteers and the head of the village. Sungai Loburus. Kami harapkan waspada, tingkatkan kewaspadaan. Terima kasih atas informasi yang kami himpun, yang kami update langsung. Radio FM Siaga Sinabung yang ada di Batu Karang. Perhaps the head of the village's prayer was answered. Broadcasting continued until 12 midnight. Next day, the sound of the radio could be clearly heard in the area along the river. Nobody knows when things will calm down, but the voice over the radio is helping those who live at the foot of Mount Sinagum. They listen every day. 
Keluarga, kalau ada bencana jam 2 atau jam 3, balik lagi ke studio, hidupan, baru apa lagi, siaran lagi. However, Mr. Sarawono, facilitator for the setting up of the radio station, can't decide which village to set up the next radio station in. After visiting a few villages, we were able to make contact with the head of the village of Pertuhen, who agreed to the setting up of a radio station. Preparation for setting up a station gets underway. Another community radio station is set up at the foot of Mount Sinabung, the first voice from the radio. Mungkin karena ada acara radio ini informasi-informasi nanti yang penting dan dari Gunung Sinabung pada utamanya bisa dapat langsung diterima oleh masyarakat. This case of villagers and local administration authorities creating an information restructure was a new first step in Indonesia. Kita nggak tahu kapan, di mana, siapa sasarannya. Jadi dengan adanya radu komunitas ini, ya mudah-mudahan informasi apapun yang terjadi tentang gunung, kita bisa cepat dapat. Both Japan and Indonesia have many natural disasters and have shared their experiences. In Japan, to provide information when a disaster occurs, there is a system whereby all that is needed is just one telephone call to have a temporary disaster radio station set up. There are two things we want to implement. The first is what kind of relationship we should have with the local authorities. It should be a closer and one of cooperation. The next is how to improve broadcast content quality. Also, there is the question of a license. We still do not have a law related to disaster radio license. However, I think with the cooperation of the Indonesian government, it will be possible to have one in the near future. Although we outsiders support the setting up of the radio station, it is they who have to run it. We can see how much the villagers, the head of the village, and the Karo Regency Disaster Management Bureau feel they have to do something themselves and want to do it themselves. Our feelings overlap. The eruption will eventually ease off, and when the station becomes an established community radio station, they will be like us. They will join the community radio station family, and we will be all brothers and sisters. The two radio stations that were set up are run mainly by villagers and local administration authorities. Broadcasting training is done together. Radio! Radio. Oh. Bagus! 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 
The head of Batu Karang village says that at present broadcasts focus on announcements regarding eruptions and secondary disaster warnings, but from now on he would like to have programs for the recovery of the community broadcast. Kami ada radio ada untuk anda. Kami ada untuk anda begitu. Thank <laughs> you.